Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Smartathon reading vlog. <laughs> So it is later in the day of the first day of the readathon uh, where you get to read some smutty books. I stayed up very late. I am moving in two days. So I guess you get to watch that journey of me moving to a new city during this vlog. I'm moving and I realized that I haven't pre-filmed anything because I needed to pre-film because I won't have all of my books when I move because I cannot take all of my books into a new apartment where I'm living with three other girls so my room is very tiny so I cannot fit all 300 plus books <laughs> in my room so I could only take a few boxes I realized that I have to film all of the books that I read in 2019 I have to film my favorite books of 2019 I also have to film my December wrap-up my December ebook haul and the Smartathon TBR I literally filmed five of those from seven o'clock at night till 1 30 in the morning it was horrible i felt so bad because i have like a chronic illness called pots if you didn't know where like my blood pools to my lower extremities so like my feet pools blood i can't stand up for long periods of time and i guess i was just like such in like the zone that i forgot stupid me during one of my videos i had to i felt so dizzy i had to sit on the ground while I was talking about a Black Tiger Brother <laughs> book during my favorite books of 2019 video. Anyway, um, I felt really, really crappy last night. Afterwards, I didn't go to bed till maybe like 3.30 in the morning because I also have to edit and upload the TBR video that came out today for the readathon. So I've been very sleepy. I'm also having to pack all of my stuff. I'm not showing you my room behind me because it's a mess. Anyway, Smutathon. This is about Smutathon. Why are we talking about my life right now? If you didn't know, my TBR video is going to be linked down below. I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I plan to read in this readathon. I don't really plan to. Oh, there's a hair. I don't really plan to stray from the TBR. I feel like it's going to be mostly fixed because I don't have the time to look up any more books because <laughs> I'm going to be so busy. But I wanted to let you know that I already read and completed a book. Be proud of me. <laughs> I read 30 Day Boyfriend by. Whitney G. I listened to this through Audible Escape. This was only around close to three hours of an audiobook and I listened on two times speed. I got through it within an hour and a half. I just popped my headphones in when I woke up this morning and started listening to it while I was checking things on my phone. Uh, this fits the bill for... It could fit the bill for a bunch of challenges. It could fit the bill for workplace romance, but I am personally going to put it in for the fake dating. You can figure out the summaries of these books in the TBR video. I did really enjoy this one. I gave it four stars. My big complaint is that it needed to be longer for me to give this book five stars. It was so promising. The sexual tension between these two characters was amazing. Like, they live they work together so they can't do anything about their attraction to each other but they don't know the other person's attracted to them and i guess through this fake dating they realize that they have feelings for each other this whole time and like it kind of goes by chapters like day one day two all the way up to day 30 of them having to be in this fake contract fake dating engaged relationship and we don't really get a lot of that we don't really get a lot of days like it skips days and just goes by really really fast so it would have been way better if uh, there was more content in it in general, um, just longer, more things to read, and um, the ending was better because it was very abrupt. I don't know what book I'm going to be picking up next. I'm going to go take some bookstagram pictures because I take my bookstagram pictures outside because I don't own like props for pictures, so I take them outside in the beautiful outdoors. So um, I'm gonna go take some bookstagram pictures for when I am gone because I don't know how long until I come visit my home again so I'm gonna take some pictures to have with me while I'm at school and I don't know what it's gonna be like when I go to school if there's gonna be any outdoor area for me to take pictures with books so I'm gonna be taking a bunch of books during pictures so that's what I am tasked to do today I want to hang out with friends um, I want to see the kids that I need today for the last time maybe um, so I have a lot of things to do so I'll chat with y'all later <laughs> hi y'all it is later in the day it is really late at night I haven't done any other reading um, but I did get two books in the mail so the first book that i have is get a life chloe brown by talia hibbert i ordered this because it is our lovely ladies book club pick for the month of january our live show will be on february 1st 7 p.m central standard time on my channel if you've read this book or if you want to read this book please 
tune into our live show on that day and read this book with us. This is another book on my chronic illness rep TBR list I've been meaning to get to because our main character Chloe Brown has a chronic illness and this is a romance book that I've heard wonderful wonderful things about so I can't wait to get into this. I've read a Tally Hibbert book previously and really enjoyed it so hopefully I will love this one and I can't wait to read this book with Ashley and Jen. And the other book that I got <laughs> I got it because one of my favorites of all time now. Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I got the paperback edition for my collection. I am taking this to school with me in a couple days. Another book from my chronic illness TBR, disease TBR, sickness TBR, because our main character man in here has a terminal heart condition. So this book was really good. If you want to know more about this book, go check out my um, Kindle Unlimited Weekend Readathon, because that's in there. And I'm going to talk about this more in my December wrap up, which may already be out. I'm not sure. Anyways, I got both of those books in the mail today. And then I am going to go take a bath, which I haven't done in so long because our bathtub has been broken. Um, so I'm going to go take a bath and read some of Learn My Lesson by Katie Roberts. I'm so excited for this book, y'all. I'm so excited. Hades and Meg romance. It's going to be so good. I'm so so excited. Hey y'all, what's up? I believe it is two days later. I am going to be moving out in about an hour or two. <laughs> so my room is pretty empty. Uh, <laughs> really sad. <laughs> We're good though. I'll be back on weekends sometimes. I wanted to give you a little bit of a reading update. I am 40% of the way through Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert. I'm really enjoying this one. I really want to know what happens. There's like a big secret as to why Hades in this book is doing what he's doing and I want to know what Hades motives are. So I'm really excited to learn about that. I don't know if I'm gonna listen to an audiobook on my ride there. I may just listen to some booktube. I just sometimes put my headphones in and then listen to booktube videos. I guess the next time you'll see me is when I am in my apartment. <laughs> I guess that's exciting. This might be the last clip of me and Oreo for a while because unfortunately I can't take him with me because the apartment place that I'm at doesn't allow pets. Say hello, sir. miss you okay so he wants to go lay down with his brother i have to say goodbye to all the pets and everything and uh, i'm not looking forward to that part of it um okay i still have to go do some packing putting stuff in the car sorry i'm kind of out of it today i'm very tired and uh, i'm kind of sad so i'll chat with you later probably when i'm in my new apartment. Hello there everyone. It's been a couple days. <laughs> um, today is the 9th, Thursday, January 9th, and uh, it's been a couple days since I've talked to you. <laughs> we are actually in my new apartment right now. This is my bookcase for the moment. Um, I realized when I got here that I actually took too few books. I was trying to be minimalistic and take as few books as possible because I don't have my big shelves with me. I just have my two square ones and uh, there's so much space I need to fill. So I just filled it with random stuff on my bookshelf, which I will film a bookshelf tour books I took to college video. Yeah, it's been a while. I actually finished my second book earlier today. <laughs> I have been exhausted these past couple days dealing with orientation, getting stuff for the apartment, moving into the apartment, organizing the apartment. It was a busy couple days and I had people around me constantly so I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging. So I haven't vlogged at all, uh, but I finished today Learn My Lesson by Katie Robert. This is the romance between Hades, Meg, and Hercules. And this is their romance story. It's kind of like darkish romance, I want to say. Maybe. Don't count me on that though. But the first book was about Jasmine and Jafar's romance, and this one's about Hades, Meg, and Hercules and their romance. I really enjoyed this one. I don't know honestly what I would rate it. Maybe a four, maybe three, 
0.75. I just found it a little bit brushed at the end, in my opinion. I think my next book might be The High Women by Kara Gimburn. This was my buddy read with Melissa from Melissa H. And both of us have yet to pick it up. <laughs> I've just been super duper busy, obviously. I've just been cleaning and watching booktube. My mom left today after staying with me for three days. Kind of sad. I'm alone right now because <laughs> my roommate's aren't here either <laughs> and I don't know my roommates so I gotta uh, have a little bit of a relaxing time and chill and make myself less anxious so I think I'm gonna pick up a book <laughs> I've just been watching booktube Emma from Muggle Glamour is on my TV right now <laughs> I also have to film a video today I have to film my announcement video for the Hunger Games read-along the videos already out by now so I'll link the announcement video down below um, everybody's all four of us me Lily Peyton and Emma all four of us are gonna be co-hosts I am the co-host for the first book the Hunger Games I was so dumb I literally left the Hunger Games books back home like I forgot about them and I'm hosting readathon for the Hunger Games I was so dumb um, but luckily my sister and I go to the same college now so she left after I did so I just asked her to bring the books over so I have them now <laughs> I'm also just like feeling my anxiety like start to creep in on me with this new environment and new school I don't know anything about this school I don't really know anyone besides my sister and a handful of people and none of them are here currently <laughs> I've been just like not feeling my 100% self because I'm feeling very anxious at the moment. You can tell by my nails. I painted these two days ago and I just started ripping the paint off. So I'm going to try to de-stress myself, read a book. I'm also super anxious just because I really want this to work. I really want this place to work for my future, for my life. I really want my time here to be wonderful and uh, I haven't really had that great of luck in the past colleges with the college setting so I'm just I'm, I'm really hopeful and I'm gonna pray about finding my place here and I want to make some friends like make some real friends like someone I feel like I can talk to you about anything I really I really want that relationship here I really want to find some friends I want to find like my place in this community and hopefully I can it's just like obviously a nagging feeling in the back of my brain because that didn't happen at my old school I'm gonna read some books <laughs> I'm gonna sit down read I might even listen to an audiobook I don't even remember what audiobooks I have on my phone I don't even remember my TBR <laughs> I don't remember it's been a crazy couple of days oh I guess I could show you my room if you want me to so this is what it looks like when you walk in um here is my bathroom very cute nice bathroom oh, those are those are light bulbs <laughs> then over here I had these awesome pictures paintings that I found at TJ Maxx but uh, I ran out of command strips so I can't put them up so I have to go to the store to buy more command strips um, to put those up I have my uh, weekly calendar here um, this is my bed it's so comfy I love it then there's the window it looks very gloomy outside we got this new portrait art today, no, yesterday, and I love this so much. <laughs> and then if you go out, here are my books. There are photo frames up there of my friends and my family. And then my desk is very messy. I am very sorry. Um, and then I have a bulletin board up here. I decided to get a giant bulletin board because I really love that idea of just putting the things I love up above my head for me to look at all the time. And then here is my closet. Woo, yay. Also, I forgot to talk about how I hauled two books yesterday. I finally found a hard copy of A Princess in Theory by Alyssa Cole. This is the first book in her Reluctant Royal series that I've heard nothing about good things about and I really wanted to pick up. It's a royalty romance series that I really want to read. So I found it in the Barnes and Noble in my college town and I bought that sucker. And then I also found Sick Kids in Love by Hannah Moskowitz. There you go, Hannah Moskowitz. I have heard that this deals with chronic illness and this is a, a book that I should probably read for my video of me trying to recommend chronic illness 
books that have chronic illness representation in it because I have a chronic illness myself and I really want to uh, find books that uh, deal with chronic illness and represent it in the correct way. I don't really know all that much about it though. The cover is beautiful. I believe that uh, both of these kids have chronic illnesses. This is a young adult book, by the way. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one and hopefully I can recommend it to y'all after I read it. Okay, I gotta go put my shoes on because I'm actually gonna go grocery shopping. So I will chat with y'all later. Hey y'all, it is later in the day and I thought I would update you. I just filmed my Hunger Games read along announcement video. Um, which is going to be up before this. Read the Hunger Games with us, y'all. I'm the host for February for the first book, so be sure to check it out and join us. So I ended up not really reading all that much. I've just been, I went and hung out with my sister and I uh, just have been doing other things. Um, but I am on page 14 of uh, The High Women and uh, Melissa and I have started it together at the same time, actually. I am so far loving this because I believe this book is about the historical romance, obviously. It's about a woman named Farah who's a widow, and then like this uh, Scottish man, a ruthless villain, comes and takes her to take her heart or whatever. But then the beginning of the book is about her and her like first husband before she becomes a widow. Like it's her as a little girl. And she's like eight and he's 11 and they're orphans. It's so cute, I'm learning page 14. I'm freaking in love with this. I'm so excited for this book. It just makes me so, so excited. I'm already hooked, I'm on page 14. I really want to read as much as I can tonight because I'm actually really loving this. So we'll see how much I get done of that. But anyway, I am going to film my college bookshelf tour or books I took to college video. I don't know what I'm gonna title it, but I will talk to you later. Hello there everyone. It is the next day. Today it is maybe like one o'clock in the afternoon. Been to the gym, I've taken a shower, I've eaten something. Mostly this morning I just scrolled on my phone for a little bit, which was kind of bad, but um, I need to probably work on that this year to stop scrolling so much on my phone. Um, and actually, do something productive, like read a book. Last night I left off on just before chapter four, which is page 45. I'm really enjoying those so far. I wanna know what happens because I loved the first chapter way better than what's going on right now because those chapters were about her when she was a little girl. I have a theory of who her love interest is and I haven't, like I had the theory before I even met him on page about who he was and I'm pretty sure he's who I think he is. And I think Melissa said she had like the same theory. She's way farther in the book than I am right now. Uh, so I gotta catch up. I really want to read a lot of this today because I haven't had a good just sit down and read day because I really want to do that. So anyways, I'm gonna go do that. Hello there, I'm literally the worst vlogger ever. <laughs> um, but it is the last day, the 11th and it is like seven o'clock at night. I finished this earlier today, The High Women by Kerrigan Byrne. I really enjoyed my time reading this. Once it hit a certain spot, I was really hooked. Um, I don't think I'm gonna give this fully five stars just because there were points that I was kind of confused by in the terminology, because this is like a British Scottish book and um, I didn't understand the certain terminology. Um, I have been reading this all day finished it. Uh, Melissa also finished it, so we're gonna talk about our thoughts in a little bit. And I just ate, cooked myself dinner, been watching Sam from Thoughts on Tomes, and uh, editing this vlog actually, because uh, I want to get this up as soon as possible. Today I also walked to my classes, well one of them, the building I'm in the most, so I walked to it, and it's actually a way shorter walk than I thought. Like I walked from my apartment building, so like a 10 minute walk to campus, to like that building on campus. I'm like, that's pretty awesome. So uh, I'm very happy about that. I might pick up the end zone before the end of the night. We will see. Cause that one does interest me and it's very short. I might do that while I'm editing some things or I might color. I really want to color. I think I might do that. So I guess I'll update y'all later. Hey y'all, it's a little bit later. Um, I'm going to actually end the vlog here. It's only 10.30 at night, but I'm not gonna read anything else for this monathon. I just completed listening to The End Zone by LJ Shen. I ended up giving it two stars. It was just very underdeveloped and rushed and it was only a two and a half hour audiobook. So I didn't like her characters, so I gave it two stars <laughs> but while i was listening to that book i ended up coloring cress from the lunar chronicles zach from zach tries to read um 
gave me this coloring book for my birthday uh, 2019 and I haven't used it yet so thanks Zach for giving it to me I'm actually watching his video back there I've been really behind on um, booktube watching so I'm watching one of his videos right now there's so many beautiful drawings in here that I need to color um, but yeah I just finished this one it's Cress she's my favorite character in the whole entire Lunar Chronicles so I guess I'll end the vlog here sorry for a very lackluster boring vlog it's just been a crazy couple of days sorry <laughs> but anyways uh, thank y'all so much for watching please let me know down below if you participated in this readathon I would love to know and like watch your video if you made a video or um, an Instagram post or anything like that um, so just let me know but anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye!